is so quick summary you've assessed the airway you've identified the difficulty bag mass lma or ett if it is if it's very difficult you do something and if it's manageable you then do something else if you have a very difficult airway that you think is virtually impossible you've just got these options here essentially they're all spontaneous ventilation techniques awake fiber optics awake look so literally just having the patient awake uh, topicalizing the airway, you know, ask one of your consultants to explain this to you when you're in theater and you have a look with a video laryngoscope to see what you can see. You can use regional or local, though that's not perfect in case the regional fails. Uh, awake tracheostomy, again, in the most dire situations, this is what you might do, say for a tracheal laceration and maybe an inhalation induction, but that's also got its problems. You will hear these as a solution, rocuronium and reversal with Sugaminix or sucks and waiting it to wear off, or test ventilating, these are not ideal. For example, if you reverse someone's muscle paralysis or the sucks wears off, you still have, have might have propofol on board or fentanyl on board, so the patient still might not breathe adequately. And test ventilation is, again, actually fraught with complications because uh, you may have a lot of false positives with that as well. So I just want you to take away the knowledge that these are the optimal techniques. And as you get more in advanced in your, in your practice, these are the ones you'll use. So you predict difficulty with bag mask, LMA and intubation. The junior doctor just cracks on, but I want you to think like a consultant from day one and take it to the next step. I want you to modify the plan to tackle the difficulty. So I'm just gonna go through these because they're just an example of what you can do. And you'll have all of these on the slides to, uh, to, um, to look at on YouTube. Um, and which you can then note down in your textbooks. So you want to prepare equipment and staff for a difficult bag mask. Goodell, nasopharyngeal, range of masks, positioning the patient well, shaving the beard, leaving the dentures in, and then giving a tailored anesthetic, meticulous preoxygenation, rapid relaxant, and then just use the ETT or LMA immediately without persisting with bag mask ventilation. That's so you've now predicted difficult bag mask. That's what you do with difficult bag mask. Difficult LMA, again, same thing, prepare equipment and staff, different LMAs, different size of LMA, fast track, pro seal as high as seal pressure, have an ETT ready, leave the, get, get a good position, leave dentures in, and again, meticulous preoxygenation, and use the ETT immediately without persisting with an LMA if it's failing. Predicted difficulty with intubation, similar format get everything ready, video learning, so bougie, make sure it's out, smaller tubes, different blades, modify the patient. So position the patient well, take dentures out because dentures out is good for intubation, but not as good for bag mask. And then same thing as before, meticulous preoxygenation, maybe get apne apneic oxygenation with the um, Optiflow Thrive, and then maybe sucks or high dose rock to get the best conditions rapidly. So I've just gone through that. You'll have all of that data for yourself. So you'll identify the difficult airway and then make the plan. CICO is rare, focused airway assessment. Know your very difficult options and then plan for the predicted difficulty. Well, what's the exact reason that it's easier to bag mask ventilate without dentures in? Oh, sorry, with the dentures in, but then um, you take them out for the tubing. Yeah, it just provides a bit of structure to the face. <laughs> Um, Goodell's LMA is also sit better with the, with the, um, with the uh, dentures in, um, but you know, give it a go. Like next time you have a patient with dentures, leave them in bag mask, take them out bag mask. And you just see how the, uh, all of this stuff here just falls away and just prevents that seal. Okay. Let's get back to it. Um, so.